And in international news, all leaders from the Group of Eight firmly back French Finance Minister Christine Lagarde's bid to run the IMF, according to French Foreign Minister Alain Juppé. In an interview with French station Canal+, Plus, he stated that along with the eight heads of state, both the President of the European Commission and the European Council voiced their support. However, Lagarde is currently facing an inquiry into a legal settlement back in 2008, in which a 1.4 billion dirham payout was given to a French businessman. Some say Lagarde abused her authority by allowing the payout. She, however, defended herself. Lagarde said that her conscience is clear surrounding the legal case. The outcome of this issue will most likely influence the IMF vote. Steel demand in China, the world's biggest consumer, may rise by as much as a quarter by 2015 compared with demand last year, according to estimates from the China Iron and Steel Association. Consumption may increase between 12 and 25 percent from the level reached in 2010 to as much as 750 million metric tons in 2015, the industry organization predicts. This year, Chinese steel production is set to reach over 618 million tons based on the forecast that China's economy will grow 9 percent this year. The CISA also suggested that steel sellers as well as buyers should be able to hedge price risks. The Shanghai Futures Exchange should therefore start listing futures for medium to thick steel, because nearly half of the steel that's made in China is distributed by traders, which make prices more volatile. Honda shares were the biggest losers among Japan's top automakers on Monday after the car maker suspended its share buyback program. Shareholders were expecting Japan's number three automaker to buy back more shares this year to meet a 30% target for shareholder returns. But Honda said it needs to save the cash to repair facilities damaged by the March 11th earthquake and tsunami. Among Japan's automakers, Honda has been the hardest hit by the Japan crisis. Analysts expect its May sales to be the worst in over 10 years. Honda shares fell 1.3% in Tokyo t today. Before we go back, here's a quick overview of the Asian equity indices as well as the oil and currency markets. And after that, Laura Buckwell is back with the news.